Salam alaikum. My name is Emo Slur, and today I'm going to uh, record another unscripted, inane, retarded rant. And if you're interested in these rants, there's a good chance that you might like anime. Because I know if you like my videos, you might have some sort of brain tumor lowering your IQ. Uh, and of course, if you like anime, you're the same way. And if you like anime in any sort of meaningful way, you understand the memes and, you know, the, the general trends and, you know, cultural sort of, uh... Ignore what just happened. Uh, <laughs> you know, you, you, you know what's going on in, in, in the community. You know, you, you know. And there's been, for a pretty long time now, I, I ripped the ass if, if you couldn't tell, uh, it, for a long time in the anime community, there's been a meme that right-wing people tend to like anime quite a bit, and it's been around for a very long time, obviously, you know, MAGA people, you know, liking anime, you know, basement-dwelling 4chan degenerates, you know, engaging in their, you know, you know, going into great depths to, you know, tell you about their lust for their, their, their waifu, you know, waifu. That was cringe, I, I apologize. But you know, you, you get what I'm saying. It has been a meme for quite a bit. But, it has been, you know, it, it's been less frequent that you see people try to hyper-analyze uh, anime and try to uh, argue the points that, you know, anime itself is like, like based, trad, and right-wing. That is not uh, a, a, a common... Uh, argument that you see being have had on the internet, but but unfortunately, if your autism power level is as high as mine, then you have seen that argument at least a couple times, and I have seen it a couple times. Uh, unfortunately, so uh, I I first you know saw this kind of argument from uh, a, a YouTuber called Pax Tube. He's like this Catholic anime guy, and he he does. He does history videos. I've seen uh, quite a few of his uh, videos about history, and I think he he, he does a pretty good job, um, you know, uh, uh, going over whatever subject he, he's talking about in, in, uh, the, in the video. Uh, it, it's quite, like, ideologically motivated, so obviously there's a bias, but I think his history videos are, are quite informative, uh, and, and I think they're quite well produced. But I have seen a few of his more analytical videos that aren't about history, and are more centered around, you know, like an analysis of something, and I have generally found them to be, you know, cringe. I watched this video about why people like anime girls, and instead of actually, you know, going into why people like anime girls, which is escapism, you know, the, the real 3D woman can never compete with the, you know, a, a glorious 2D woman, of course. You know, it's, it's escapism, that's why people like anime women. But for some reason, this, this gentleman, um, Pax Tube, he, he goes on this tirade about how anime is actually, like, like, based in traditional, and about how people like it because anime, you know, like, exemplifies this, like, traditional version of a woman, and it's, it's so, it was so inanely, it was so inane and retarded that I, I, I just stopped watching the video. I couldn't continue having, like, watching someone sincerely tell me that anime is right wing, <laughs> that anime is actually like traditional, you know, and not insanely degenerate, which of course isn't true. If you have any idea of, you know, the, 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 the medium, I guess you could call it, then, you know, you, you would know that it is anything but, you know, like based and uh, whatever other right wing buzzword you want to call it i don't i don't give a shit you know you would know that that's not true but recently recently on twitter all of my videos eventually come back to me ranting about some shit i saw on twitter i saw this you know right wing anime guy on twitter you know go you know talk about you know you know, write a little manifesto in the form of a tweet about why left wing people hate anime and it's because anime is actually right wing and this got like seven to 10,000, maybe 14,000. I don't entirely remember. This was like a week ago. It got, you know, that <laughs> amount of likes. And, and I found this to be so in insanely retarded. I mean, you can see the tweet um, on my Twitter. I, uh, I, uh, 
I, uh, I, I, I quote retweeted it, you know, saying that I thought he was being retarded, you know. Uh, go to my Twitter and in my YouTube bio if you want to see my epic tweets. I know you want to do it, baby. Uh, you know, so I, I was talking about this, and obviously this was in a wider discussion about, you know, anime and politics. And of course, this was a culture war, a little miniature culture war on Twitter about anime and for some reason politics was involved too. Um, now, now to give you a little bit of backstory, this might actually, you know, merit a uh, more in-depth, like, you know, like edited video, you know, about this insane retarded culture war thing around anime. But that's not what this is, of, of, of course. But on Twitter, and I guess some other social media sites as well, there, there's something of a culture war, kind of like a gamer gate kind of thing going on with anime and it's kind of centering around like like translators and the general anime community you know you you, you have these you know insane you know like like <laughs> max level autists complaining that you know you, you have too many of these like liberal leftist communist pinky pinkos or whatever you know infiltrating the anime community they call them tourists because you know they, they take pride and the fact that they like anime in the same way that someone would take pride in their nationality, I guess. And, and you know, listen, I am a true American patriot. As you can see behind me, I, I have the flag and everything. I, I take pride in my country. Uh, God bless the United States of America. And, and, and I sincerely cannot believe that people make anime to like that, to such like, they, they make that such like an important part of their personality that they call people who they think aren't real anime fans they call them tourists you know like like if i was mad that some you know like chinese guy was going through my city and it's like goddamn tourist he's not a real american like i am you know like like that like that makes sense like if i went to cuba you know and a bunch of you know cubans called me a gringo or whatever and told me to leave or whatever like i would understand that you know because i'm not cuban of course, you know, and, and it's natural to, you know, not like it when outsiders come into your space. And, and of course, with these, you know, uh, retarded anime fans, I understand, you know, when people who y you think are, you know, kind of antithetical to the, to the core of your community are, are coming in and kind of changing its like kind of character. But, but it really says a lot about these, these people that they, uh, that they call these people tourists. You know, like as if they're, you know, like, 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 like as if to them, it's like, like their nationality. Like it goes above something they're born as. The, the, the fact that they like anime. It, it, it's insane. And, and of course, there is a political aspect to this culture war, you know, retardation. I keep saying retarded. I, I apologize to my uh, retarded fans. Uh, back to the video. Uh <laughs> You know this this whole culture war thing there. There's a political aspect because of course there is a political aspect because you know You can't have anything enjoyable nowadays without politics coming into it for some reason and listen I like to talk about politics. In fact, I'm thinking about tomorrow making a video Discussing you know the, the election cycle that's happening. Uh, of course, it won't be like a partisan thing but I, I do want to get my opinion on the matter because Again, if you go on my Twitter, there, there's quite a lot of political stuff on there, you know. Uh, you know, it's, it's a part of who I am. But, but, you know, separating politics from literally everything else, in my opinion, is a good thing. Because, you know, le letting politics consume your life will make you miserable. But, of course, people on the Internet are miserable. And they make politics, you know, they, they insert it into everything. And, of course, we know that left-wing people do this all the time. They say all art is political. But this is less, you know, this is less often seen in a right-wing people, you know. But, you know, they're, they're catching up. They're, you know, catching ahead in the game of being insufferable, you know, Twitter, Twitter spurgs, whatever word you want to call them. They're catching up to, to the pinkos or to the commies, whatever you want to call them, you know. And, and they're literally actually trying to argue that anime is actually right wing which is such an such an inane retarded thing to actually sincerely to believe that I'm that it might actually just be some rage bait shit by like a blue check mark to get like a few extra cents so they might be able to pay their rent or or, or whatever it, it is such 
in a, a nonsensical uh, opinion that only someone who is so insanely poisoned by this partisan culture war nonsense would actually believe that anime aligns with their political beliefs in particular you know like it, it'd be retarded as well with leftists you know you know because there's there's no, there's nothing political about anime of, of course it's just animation and animation can take any character like any other form of art but, but of course these people like to say they like to make the claim that only people who believe the same things that they believe can make good art so, so i guess anime if it's good in their opinion, also has to align with their beliefs as well. So, you know, the, these right-wing people on Twitter, and also to clarify, because I know someone, you know, who, who's watching this video and has for some reason come, you know, this far into my unedited, you know, Asbergic rant, you know, I, I am not left-wing. I, I would say I'm a quite right-wing individual, but, you know, I, I don't like retarded uh, arguments and, and just general, you know, silly behavior. <laughs> you know, if it comes from the right or the left, I'm going to criticize it for being obnoxious. You know, and I'm going to criticize my own team because I think that's important. Anime is not right wing. I, so let's, let me get into the argument. Anime is like hyper sexual. You know, we all know that anime always has like tons of fan service. You know, even unnecessarily, they, they sexualize women to kind of an absurd degree. And there's like a sexual aspect to everything in that country. Uh, obviously, you know, that the hentai dojin kind of industry, or I guess whatever you'd call it, a subculture, is thriving in Japan. And of course, it's, you know, attached itself like a tumor to the Western anime community. I mean, if you go on r slash good anime memes or whatever, you'll see like 15,000 posts about like 13 year old redditors talking about their hentai addiction or whatever you know it, it, it's very it's a the sexuality is a very integral part of um anime subculture or you know whatever you would like to call it and of course that is not right wing and that is not traditional uh you know sexual expression is not uh based on traditional thing to do you know and i think these people would know it because they make being you know right wing traditionalists their entire personality but for some reason they can't it's like they don't even understand what being traditional means and they think being the exact opposite of traditional is actually being based in trad or whatever um also obviously there's a lot of gay shit in anime um there's a lot of um unmasculine effeminate men of course you, you see it a lot in slice slice of life uh isekai you know that kind of thing a lot of um anime protagonists are, are beta males, you know, Shinji Ikari, you know, that kind of uh, subgenre of individual. And, and that's, of course, because uh, a lot of people in Japan are that person, um, you know, uh, trying to relate to the, to, the, to the target demographic, of course, you know, you know, um, bitchless losers who, 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 you know, get no kuchi. And of course, I'm not, I, I, I am not disrespecting my, my fellow, my fellow incels, you know, but, uh, you know, let, let's say how it is, is that, you know, you know, like good, you know, heroic masculine men, you know, you can see them in anime, obviously, and a lot of uh, shonen, you know, like Goku or whatever, you know, they exist. But, you know, it's not like some kind of universal aspect of anime culture. You know, in fact, I'd say there are probably a thought for every one heroic masculine male role model you see in an anime, there are probably 13,000 you know, Shinji Akari clones without any of the depths in some sort of like harem, harem, slice of life, you know, romantic comedy anime. You know, it, it's a dime a dozen. And in fact, I would, I would claim personally in my, uh, my, my unqualified opinion that it's more common than, you know, depictions of men that are actually, you know, role models or desirable. Uh, and, you know, obviously that's just the tip of the iceberg, obviously. Uh, anime has been responsible for unleashing the, you know, the, the disgusting plague on, on, on our world that we, we call femboys or whatever other, you know, the word, you, you know, they're called now, they were called traps, now it's femboys, I, who knows, dude, I don't give a shit, all I know is that it's cringe, you know, uh, obviously there's a lot of uh, hentai stuff out there, and in general, just like lewd kind of, um, material in the anime community it's very normalized there and of course this just reflects 
upon Japanese society because it's you know it's it's not what it used to be. It's it's quite degenerate now. You, you know most men don't have wives and they spend all their time you know fantasizing about their favorite uh, cartoon woman or whatever. But of course these you know these political hacks on Twitter have to make everything political and they have to make everything agree with them if they personally like it. So they have to make this you know objective you know a manifestation of cultural degeneracy in Japan and they actually have to make it like good and right wing and embody what they think is correct which objectively isn't true because Japan is not in a good place right now uh, obviously you know th there are males are quite you know low T they can't get women people aren't starting families they aren't having children men are working themselves to death and whatever you know dead end job they have you know for their boss so they can get money and bang 13 prostitutes that night you know and, and then they go home and they you know read those shis and watch their favorite slice of life isekai or or whatever anime or manga they like because they don't have anything else and they can't get a wife and they don't have a social life you know and, and that's uh, that's a kind of degeneracy because it's bad uh, in my opinion and because it causes bad behavior like obviously this you know like cooming uh, addiction this addiction to gooning that you see a lot in Japan and in the anime community. Uh, so yeah, anime is not right wing. Uh, please stop using this talking point. It's making you look like a massive retard, for for lack of a better term. And you know, please uh, please grow uh, as an individual. Uh, anyways, that's the end of the rant. I, I don't think I can add anything more to this inane retarded argument. I keep re repeating myself, I keep saying retarded, inane, a um, bunch of other things, you know, <laughs> if you watch the video, comment all of the times that I've repeated myself throughout the video, or whatever. Uh, I have a second channel, I'm going to link that in the description, I'm going to upload and record a video tonight, uh, you know, which is basically just like another uh, rant, it's going to be more, uh, I guess, low key, uh, I guess, so yeah, like and subscribe. I'll freak you. <laughs>